In this video, we are going to discuss on DC circuits. The DC circuits we are going to discuss on the topics Ohm's law, Kirchhoff law, analysis of series, parallel, series parallel circuits and also power and energy. Let us take up Ohm's law first. So understanding why it is not an actually physical law is critical to understand the basic principles of logic and the nature of physics law, physical law. So whenever uh, the force is being applied, the voltage is nothing but here the, fo you know, the force in terms of force applied, the current flows. So when you apply a voltage, the current flows. So let us define the Ohm's law. Ohm's law definition is it states that the potential difference across the resistance is proportional to the voltage provided temperature remains constant V is directly proportional to I if you remove the proportionality constant we can say V is directly proportional to I if I remove this proportionality constant, okay, this proportionality constant, then V is equal to IR. So we can state that, we can state that R is a proportionality constant. So definition of Ohm's law is also defined as the resistance which permits the flow of one ampere of current when a potential difference of one volt is applied to the resistance. So all we need is, we need a resistor, we need a voltage, okay, then only the current flows in a closed circuit. So remember, very important notice, when we give a voltage, current only flows in the circuit, which consists of a resistor, when it is a closed loop. So closed loop here, I mean it, closed loop here, I mean it, is a complete a closed loop. So when I apply a voltage, for example, let us say I am applying a voltage to this circuit and we have a resistance here, okay, the current flows here. So if you see this is a closed circuit, then what do you mean by open circuit? So open circuit here is nothing but you don't have a closed uh, path here for the current to flow. So the closed circuit, uh, uh, the open circuit can be written as this way if you make a note this is a open circuit so if you if I have a applied voltage here and if I leave anywhere the line open so the current doesn't have a path to complete the flow of the current in the circuit so this is all about the definition of Ohm's law next let us come up with the limitations of Ohm's law Ohm's law is not applicable to non-linear devices such as diodes, Zener diodes, voltage regulator, etc. So it is not applicable to basically for the devices in a circuit having diodes, Zener diode and voltage regulator. Now the other limitation is it does not hold good for non-metallic conductors such as silicon carbide. The next uh, principle is Kirchhoff current law. So if you look at this diagram, so if, if you can notice the red, uh, you know, uh, thing which is entering the junction. So this is the junction. We have the junction point. This is a junction. So the center point is a junction. So current entering the junction, if you can see the arrow marks moving towards the junction is leaving away from the junction. So KCL can be defined as the algebraic sum of the currents meeting at a junction is zero. That is sum of the incoming current is equal to sum of the outgoing current. This is all about Kirchhoff current law. So we can write the summation, the sum of current can be written as summation is summation of summation of i is equal to 0. So if you look at this example, the current i1 entering here, i2 entering here should leave i3. So in this case, I can write the current i1, okay, plus the current i2 is equal to current i3. 
so as per the definition the summation here refers ref, uh, uh, you know re, rep, uh, refers i1 plus i2 okay summation so if i take the you know incoming current into the junction this point is positive the current leaving this point is considered as negative so if i say this is i1 entering the current that is to this junction and i2 is entering to this junction as positive the current leaving this junction should be considered as negative so we can write minus i3 is equal to 0 so if you transfer this i3 to right hand side so we can say some of the current entering the node is equal to some of the current leaving the node so this center point is called as a node this is all about Kirchhoff's current law so next coming up with Kirchhoff voltage law the Kirchhoff voltage law defines as the algebraic sum of the voltage or the potential drop in a closed circuit is equal to the EMF acting on the circuit now if you look at this what you the potential drop potential drop here means the voltage okay we refer always the potential wi with respect to voltage now why it is the potential drop is always measured between two terminals suppose if you take the resistance here if you take the resistance here and if I have to measure the uh, voltage so these are the two you know uh, terminals we say between these two terminals we measure the voltage so this I can connect a voltmeter here to measure so voltage potential drop across the terminal or you know between the two terminals is the meaning that we connect a voltmeter to measure across these two terminals so the algebraic sum of the potential drops in a closed circuit is equal to the EMF acting on the circuit so now this is the EMF acting on the circuit is 10 volts the potential drop in the closed circuit across this resistor is 5 volts and another resistor is 5 volts put together the sum of the potential drop uh, is 10 volts in the closed circuit that is equal to the EMF that is 10 volts acting on the circuit here 10 volts is the EMF or you know electromotive force EMF is the meaning we have electromotive force which is nothing but voltage or a potential uh, drop so which is equal to the drop across these two resistors so voltage applied should be the drop equal to the drop across the resistors in a closed circuit so if you take up this closed circuit if you take up this closed circuit so this uh, we can write here so sum of the potential drop means summation of v is equal to zero so the voltage drop you know is equal some some of the potential diff drops in a closed loop is equal to the emf acting on it so we can write here 10 volts min uh, minus 5 okay minus 5 is equal to zero this is the algebraic sum of the voltage so if you take this minus to plus here how do you uh, you know consider the sign here so as i explained with the kcl here minus to plus is positive so increase this is the increase in drop so increase in drop is always considered as positive so if this is considered as positive observe the polarity here the current direction is in this way looking at the current direction you need to assign the polarity that is positive and negative so we know the always the current flows from higher potential to lower potential so so when higher potential always refers with positive and lower potential always refers with negative so when you take the current direction in this way this is the higher potential so plus to minus the drop is now it is towards you know, decreasing so plus to minus means it is decreasing so we can write it as minus 5 and again if you observe the current is flowing here so the potential is here high and low at other end so the current flows from this direction so again it in you know the potential is now decreasing here plus to minus so we can take minus 5 is equal to 0 so according to our definition this can also be written as the algebraic sum of the drops means it is 5 okay plus 5 is equal to the emf acting on the circuit that is 10 volts so this is all about kirchhoff voltage law 
in the next class we can take up analysis of series and parallel circuit